let's talk about saving money on groceries. I just did a huge grocery haul for my family of 10, and guess what? It was under $100. That is amazing. Hey, Dr. Phil, I'm so excited to completely blow the minds and melt the faces off of your audience members as I share some of my best, most viral, most innovative tips and tricks for budgeting, especially in this economy full of inflation right now. So before you even go shopping, there are a few important things you need to do to save money. So we narrow down to a few of my top tips. And the very first one is the one that I think catches the most people by surprise, and that is to have a one week spending freeze. Food prices are way up right now. Every penny counts. The principles I will teach you today can apply to any store you shop at. And I will show your audience how to do that in a super easy, effective way and all the benefits, including paying off debt so much faster. So why do you say people shop backwards? Because we're in the habit of going online or going to our favorite celebrity cookbook, grabbing a recipe, going to the store, and just like in the bit, paying $50 for a bag of groceries just for that night. Half the ingredients go to waste, the leftovers sit and rot in your fridge, and you eat out the next night, and then you start all over again. And next thing you know, you're spending $1,000 a week on groceries. It's just, it's just backwards. One thing I want to say to all y'all is statistics tell us that Americans throw out 40% of the food that they prepare, 40%. That's probably conservative. Be aware of that, and maybe that means you freeze it, save it, prepare less, whatever, but that's a big number. That's almost half. Now, what is your recommended budget per person in the family each month? For groceries. Okay, I don't wanna get canceled, but I promise this is a doable number. I recommend you start at $100 per person in your family per month. It works, you just gotta stretch it. It's more about what you do with it than it is about what you buy and where and when you buy Okay, it. that's like $3.22 a day. <laughs> it's doable, I promise. So how do you do that? What's that consist of? And here's the thing. Are you eating I, rice and beans or no, what? No, I, I cook good food for my family. We eat a lot of meat and protein. I mean, there, there's 10 of us. We've got some appetites. It's about shopping wise for one, but I think people put too much emphasis on how they shop. I think it should be more emphasized what you do with the food. Are you reusing? the ingredients over and over and over. Are you opening your fridge first when you plan your meals? That's the trick, really. When you plan your meals, don't plan off the groceries. Plan off what you have in your fridge, freezer, and pantry that you need to use up. So you get 10 people to all eat the same thing? I am not a short order chef, Dr. Phil, so yes. What do we say, kids? We say, plug your nose and gag it down. If they don't like it, they, <laughs> they, they have to eat it anyway. At home, do you cook two meals a day, three meals a day, what? Well, my kids are in charge of helping with breakfast and lunch. So they pack their own lunches for school within my parameters. We have a good system. During the summer, they cook breakfast and lunch exclusively. We do it all together on Saturday as a family. We do a big batch cooking session and make like 500 protein waffles and eat them throughout the week. And then dinner, I assign a kid each dinner to help me cook. Uh, but we do a lot of simple things we can throw in the crock pot before school, casseroles that we can make one now, make a second one and freeze it for a busy night that we can just pop it in the oven. Yeah. Now, both of you say buy in bulk. Yeah, you're actually using less packaging. It's more efficient to ship things. So there are a lot of reasons why supermarkets will typically give you a lower price in a unit price per pound for something that you're buying in a bigger quantity. Yeah. What do you buy in bulk? What don't I buy in bulk, Dr. Phil? I, everything, including maybe produce or fresh items that you wouldn't use right away. You can chop it up and freeze it. You can put it, cook it in something and freeze it for later. You could split the package with a friend. So many ways to stretch it. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.